What up, nerds? Today, we're covering the Rand Switch, an item that gets missed by most Rust players. That's because it has very minimal utility for most Rust bases. The Rand Switch is a pretty basic item, and this video will guide you on how to set one up. Here's the general info on the Rand Switch. You will only need 75 metal fragments and a tier two workbench to make one. If you study this item at a research table, it will run you 20 scrap. If you go the tech tree route, find it on the workbench level two and bring 204 scrap to the tech tree. Also a quick mention, a lot of you watching are not currently subscribed. So once we hit 2,500 subs, I will be doing a $150 giveaway to subscribers only. The Rand switch outputs power to whatever item you connect it to. But the catch is there's only a 50% chance it turns on or it will just stay off. To operate the Rand switch, you need to connect the power in to a power source. I use a power gen for this instance. Next, connect the power out to the item you want to power. I just use a general light. Next, you set a switch or a button to the set spot on the RAN switch and another to the reset option. All you need to do now is press the switch connected to the set port and it will raffle off a 50-50 chance of allowing power to pass through to the power out port. You can continue to press the set button for follow-up raffles or you can press the reset button to turn off the pass through of the power to your item. The only use of this item that I can come up with is a trap base or some level of a puzzle or trick base. This item in my opinion is basically just for fun and not very conventional. Let me know in the comments how you use this item if you do. I'm genuinely so curious as to how others utilize the RAN switch. I hope this quick lesson on the RAN switch was helpful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe for future uploads. Until next time, happy rusting my friends. Peace out, nerds.